What's up, everybody? My name is Vincent. Welcome to Cryptolution, where we talk about everything under the moon in the crypto universe. Today is Wednesday, March 8th. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about three major metaverse altcoins I want you to have near your radar. Now, why is that? I do believe that metaverse will have its bull run soon. It could happen in 2023. It could happen in 2024. But once that bull run happens, then it may be too late if you buy during the bull run. You need to buy things while they're low. And as you can see, based on the cryptocurrency market, things are at a new low. And we're going to look into price charting within each of these coins. Now, with that said, just know that this is not financial advice. This is just my own opinion, just for your own entertainment. So please do your own due diligence before investing in any of these coins. Now, be sure to like up that button, subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to join our Patreon page. And most importantly, please be careful with any of the scammers down in the comments below. I'll never reach out via WhatsApp, Telegram, direct messaging, or email. So please be careful and invest safely. So guys and girls, let's get right into it. So obviously there are a ton of metaverse or at least games or metaverse titles that claim to be the next metaverse hype. But the thing is, I want you guys and girls to only focus on three because they're more established and they have bigger teams and bigger financing. So with that said, they may have more of a promising and secure future for your investments. So what is the very first metaverse? It's none other than Decentraland. Now Decentraland is built on the Ethereum blockchain. Now trading, believe it or not, 55 cents. Now what's great is that the market cap and the fully diluted market cap, also known as the evaluation of how this company or this metaverse can be projected in the future, is not too far off. In fact, it's only around 200 million difference between the market cap and the valuation. So that's pretty good in my opinion. And also, if we look at the all-time high price, when we are experiencing a bull run for the GameFi and Metaverse world, which I think many people do know about, we were at an all-time high price of around $5.02. Now we're at 56 cents. So there's a lot of upside that can happen once this is more established. But you probably want to know, what are they doing during the bear market that we're in? Are they building? Or in fact, they actually have been building a lot of great relationships. So if you see from this trailer, they're actually integrating their metaverse with the fashion world. Yeah, you heard me right. The hashtag MVFW2023. Now, what is this all about? What is the central and trying to do? Well, it's trying to take fashion and put it into digital assets and vice versa. It's trying to take Web 2 and Web 3 and bridge them together. Now, they do have an event coming up. Now, this is the event itself, and you do need to know that it's pioneered by Decentraland, and you gotta look at the brands. We got Dolce & Gabbana, DKNY, Tommy Hilfiger, Alo Yoga, Vogue Singapore, the list goes on and on. And what's great about this is that really we're seeing the first wave of adoption for a metaverse such as this, bringing in in real life Web2 companies that are established in their brands and literally bringing it into the metaverse. And I will tell you, the reason brands are looking to expand into this new digital blockchain Web3 space is because they want to be in the forefront of innovation. So that's absolutely amazing. And also, the marketplace within Decentraland, you can actually swap your own clothes. So this is just a kind of a taste of what you can expect, right? Yeah, you can buy a state, you can buy a land, but also you can change your wearables, also known as your clothing, for your avatars. So imagine Dolce & Gabbana decides, you know what? We wanna have our clothes on your avatars. Well, guess what? Those clothes will have value they will actually be sold as ownership because it's an nft isn't that great that's why decentraland is on my list not only that the team actually attends all these different events they're all docs so they're actually they just went to ethereum denver that just happened recently for eth denver and this is the team promoting and meeting other people and networking that just goes to show you how cool this space is so that's why i want decentraland the cryptocurrency coin that's trading literally around 0.54 usd is absolutely a great steal. Now let's move on. What is my second metaverse altcoin? That is Sandbox. Now Sandbox is also trading around 58 cents. Now, if we look at the market cap and the fully diluted market cap, you can figure out why there's a big difference here. It's saying it's 875 million in terms of market cap, but 1.7 billion 
in terms of its evaluation. That's a big difference. That's literally double the market cap. Now, if we look at the floor price of this actual cryptocurrency, we can see that it hit an all time high of around $7.4. So obviously we've taken a massive dip. Again, we experienced a bull and game fry run all the way back in the late 2021, but that has soon died down. Could we reach tractions up to them? I absolutely think so. This is why I'm all about buying the dip. Now, what's really interesting is that I think the reason there's a huge gap between the valuation and the market cap is because Sandbox is one of the leading metaverses out there. It's more established, it has big name brands and companies already established. And the land plots are literally on sale for millions of dollars, even today in a bear market, which is actually crazy. Now, if we look at what's going on right now, they actually have a festival going on starting today. Now, this festival that's happening has a whole bunch of rewards and mystery boxes for people. Now, this is the actual event calendar. So if you go over to the sandbox, Twitter page, you can see that the date actually started today of this event, and it's going to be going until April. Now, if we look at the giveaways that they have for people, you can see that they're actually giving away some really expensive NFTs like little pudgies, MFers, beans. A lot of these different NFTs are fetching for thousands and thousands of dollars. So again, it's not just that. There's a lot of users on Sandbox. There's a lot of interactions and people playing these games. And it's also very kid friendly. A lot of kids can actually learn how to play this game if their parents teach them to know how to play this game, earn assets and make money. Isn't that crazy? And possibly earn some Sandbox tokens now if we look at the overall map this is the overall map of sandbox you can see why the market cap and the valuation are absolutely vastly different because it's being evaluated for massive massive amounts of millions of dollars it's because there's such a networking here there's a huge network of companies we have ubisoft we have the walking dead we have binance in multiple locations we also have atari in multiple points we also have some crypto punks and roblox again lots of land to be sold here we even have big name brands and clothing brands is here as well and that's exactly why i think people are flocking to this and why people are paying thousands upon millions of dollars for these land masses again really interesting and you can just tell that the networking effect has not stopped we can even see snoop dogg has his own land here and even soul big brain who is an influencer on twitter now Let's go ahead and focus on the last metaverse altcoin. What is that? That is none other than the ApeCoin. Now, ApeCoin is going to be related to the other side metaverse. Now, ApeCoin is going to be one of the fueled economy tokens within that metaverse. It's really interesting. This is by far the largest metaverse evaluation I've ever seen. We literally have a market cap of around $1.6 billion, just the market cap itself. And it's evaluation is $4.5 million. So I want to share this with you. There's a lot of risk here. That means there's a lot of VCs. There's a lot of family offices and institutions, not just retail investors, because they think that they're going to get their money back based on this major, major altcoin here. And it's because it's tied to many other things. But before we get into that, let's look at the actual price evaluation look at this it's 4.6 dollars now but it's all-time high price was almost around 25 dollars now what can we expect with this ape coin what's it connected to well it's obviously connected to the board api club the board api club is the infamous nft that's literally put nfts on the map and they're fetching for around 71 eth how much does that actually cost for the very cheapest one 110,000 us dollars that's just the nft itself but it's connected to the other side metaverse now the other side metaverse is literally the land plots and everything within the other side are also selling for thousands of dollars so this is why i don't want you guys and girls to sleep on this because this is the actual gameplay to show you how the board apes have been integrated within this metaverse and also i want to share with you another thing there's also people in the space that recognize other side and it's complete expansion within the metaverse so we have people who's a really well-known one-on-one artist he's the famous artist the one-on-one -on -one artist that's taken his digital artistry and sold it for multi-millions of dollars by the Sotheby's auction. And he even recognizes how amazing this is. So why I'm sharing all three of these coins with you is because again, they're all building, they all have different evaluations, but I do imagine that they're all gonna have great bull markets in the next coming bull run. Now, this is up to you to decide what you're gonna do. And as you can see here, I have my top three coins. ApeCoin right here is ranked number 34. Out of the total coin market cap, 
out of everything, even Bitcoin, Ethereum, all of those coins, it's ranked number 34. We have Decentraland at number 44. We also have Sandbox at number 52. So let this be educational and informative for you, what you want to have some exposure in, because we don't know if we're gonna experience more of a dip, but we are already in a dip. We are already way discounted in price. So really, you have to decide, is this the best time to invest? Well, I want to hear your comments down below in both YouTube and Twitter, and I cannot wait to read them. As always, be sure to like up that button, subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to join our Patreon page to receive all of our alpha calls for our buy and sell orders for both cryptocurrency and NFTs. And with that said, I'll see you guys and girls next time.